person has atomic number 49 and atomic mass 114.8 grams. Naturally occurring indium contains a mixture of indium-112 and indium-115 in an atomic ratio of approximately what? So uh, here we are given isotopes. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with a different mass. So we have indium-112 and indium-115. And we're also told that indium has an atomic mass of 114.8 grams. Now we need to realize that the atomic mass given to us or the atomic mass that we see on the periodic table is basically the sum of all the isotopes taking into account their percent abundance. So whatever isotope is the most abundant, that's what we will see reflected in our atomic mass. For example, we see here that my atomic mass is 114.8, which is really, really close to 115. So between 112 and 115, I can see that the atomic mass is very close to 115. Therefore, this isotope should be in much, much higher percent abundance than 112 one. So if you look at our answer choices, C, we can eliminate, we can start to eliminate some. C says 50-50%, well, if it would be 50-50%, we will have 112, 115, the average between these two, and that is not the case because it's really close to 115, so we can eliminate this. And we also said that we must have a lot more of 115 than 112, so we're looking, so we're looking for a much greater 115 than 112 number, so we can eliminate D because in D, 112 would be a lot more abundant and that is not the case we see it's 115 and we can also eliminate e because in e again 112 is more abundant it's 94 percent to six percent but we know that it has to be this one so between a and b because we see that our uh, indium 115 is so 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 close to 114.8 our hunch can be that it's probably A, and we can very simply check them, uh, check that out. To calculate the average atomic mass, what we can do is we take we can take the mass of each isotope and multiply by the percent. So in this case, this would be six percent, which is uh, 0 0.06 plus 115, and in this case, it's 0.94 or you could multiply by percents and then divide by 100 I like using decimals and let's see what we get so I do 112 times 0.06 plus 115 times 0.94 and I'm getting 114.82 which is pretty much the same as 114.8 if we if we round it up and therefore, A must be my answer. Again, the reason it's the answer, even without using a calculator, is because 115 is so close to the atomic mass of 114.8 that we realize that this must be the most abundant isotope, and it should be really, really, really abundant since the, this atomic mass reflects it since they're so close, and this, this one should be very, very um, not as abundant. And so our answer should be A. This is Maya from Transformation Tutoring. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and feel free to subscribe as well. I would appreciate that. And I look forward to seeing you in more of my general and chemistry and general and organic chemistry videos. Have a great day full of chemistry knowledge and chemistry learning.